Yo, let's talk about the Super Bowl yesterday. Or whenever you're watching this. Let's talk about Super Bowl 2024. By all means, the first thing I want to say is Usher put on a performance, all right? We watched greatness. I understand we have Prince, we have Michael Jackson, but I'm going to be honest with y'all, as far as a show, Michael Jackson's best moment of his performance was him literally standing there and being Michael Jackson. The fact that he was Michael just made it amazing, but it wasn't how he performed or like the singing. It wasn't like the, the show that made it amazing. Even like Purple Rain, <clears throat> When Prince did his thing, what made that so dope was that it started raining. But the performance was very calm. And like, go back and watch it. It was very... But you could tell Usher really put work into the choreography of that performance. And I have to take my hat off to him. Now, nah, I mean, I'll take my do-rag off to him because my line is sharp. <laughs> but nah, um, yo, the performance was fire. Now, nah, Alicia Keys... <clears throat> A lot of people are saying that, <clears throat> you know, what happened up there was very inappropriate. I'm going to get my opinion on it. It was very inappropriate because if you watch the videos, Usher kind of like grazed up on a couple of times during the performance. <clears throat> and also, like he was hugging up from the back. That's the picture that's going viral. And if you don't know, Alicia Keys is also married. She's married to uh, Swiss Beach. She had a ring on and everything. So a lot of people saying, you know, it's inappropriate. Now, I'm going to get my take on it. Me personally, I would never let another man touch my woman like that. Uh, it just would not happen. Now, I do want to say this, though. As an entertainer, it is different, though. They're putting on a show. Like, they had years from now the performance that she did for the super bowl which is a huge thing that's up there with having an oscar or a grammy i mean performing at the super bowl that's gonna be remembered for years so you don't want to be you don't want this moment to be ruined by anything it's kind of like will smith and chris chris rock we don't even think about the fact that chris rock he hosts the oscars it was the oscars or the grammys one or the other we don't even think about that we think about the smack so you don't want that moment to be stolen from, you know, you you had to put a man in his place, the other performer in his place. As an entertainer, as a performer, I can see how she's like, okay, let's just get through this performance and either I'll tell him about it after or, you know, it, it'll be respect after, whatever, you know, but let's just get through this. And when I watched it, I'm not going to lie. There was a couple of times that Usher walked up on Alicia Keys and she backed up like she either walked away, but she did it in a very much. You can't tell I'm denying him type of way. If you go watch the, the performance from the moment she stood up, like Usher kind of kept on like easing up on her. And I'm not one of the dudes that I be on like the girl's side or no shit like that. I'm, I'm a realist. But if you watch it, like I even peeped it while it was happening. She, he kind of kept pushing up on her and like. So then finally, he kind of did that little thing. On, like It looked like he did on her booty. So again, from Alicia Keys' standpoint, you really don't want to ruin this moment. You don't know how big this moment may be for her. Like how big this could be for her career. As an entertainer, that's where your mind is at. It's not on the other performer doing too much. As long as, you know, he ain't kissing her or trying to, you know, like volley or nothing. Like you really just in entertainment mode. And I could, I, I could kind of understand that. But back to the moment when Usher finally grabbed her from the back. If you look, he tried to do that multiple times. It wasn't just one time that he like kind of tried to ease up behind her, but she kept moving from where she was standing. If you go watch the video, I might do like a whole breakdown of this, like with the video in front of me. Um, but you will see it like she kept moving away. So by the time he finally grabbed her, I think she was kind of like, all right, I'm already here. Let's not make this awkward. Let's And let me smile. What do y'all expect her to do? Yo, get off of me. What are we doing? We're at the Super Bowl. Like, this is the Super Bowl. This is a big deal. These people pay $5,000 a ticket to sit here. Like, this is great for my career and yours. This could bring us back. She's not thinking, let me curse this man out. Like, that'll mess up endorse y'all not thinking about that because most of us aren't dating alicia keys the uh entertainer a legendary entertainer i think the person that's wrong is usher 
Honestly, I think that Usher should just have a little bit more of common decency and respect for like other entertainers. Like, okay, I know you're in a relationship. Now, I mean, let me not cross that line because you may not want to make it awkward. So you may not put me in my place. So let me not make it awkward for you. But I think I, I low key felt like Usher's a little bit of an opportunist because he knows that she wouldn't want to ruin that moment. Now, I mean, for her career and his career. So it's kind of like, let me take on the moment and get a little, you know, and, and, but then the other part of me is also like, this is, it matched the song, my boo. Like it made it even better. And if you look at Usher the whole time, it looked like something came over him. And when I mean, when I say that, I mean it in a good way. Like it, it, it looked like he was so deep into every song, every single song. It looked like he wasn't like there. Like he, he was like on a whole different level like it was crazy because it was that good of a performance so when that song probably came, he may not have have been really considering all factors yeah you know i mean but i have to say in alicia's defense she definitely had a little bit of pushback i want to end the video out by saying this do you guys have that same thought process when you see actresses on other actresses y'all do understand that all act actresses on other actors like if somebody's married and like, do you look at it like I never, I never see those go viral. But when it comes to artists and being that this, this, there's a cloud around Usher right now, we automatically say like, oh, Usher's taking everybody's wife. No, like this is part of entertainment. The only difference between somebody acting like in a movie and like for a performance of a song is the cameras. Like you're not watching it through a camera. You most likely you're watching it live. But it's almost like watching a play. They still have to act out their songs. Granted, there's a respectful way to do it. But let's just say case in point that Usher and Alicia Keys, none of us know their relationship. They might be cool as hell. Now, I mean, that might be that might have been something that was cool for the performance. Like, but again, it's to make you feel the music. It is to make you feel it's not to disrespect. Like, now, if there was a video of her doing that. No music playing in the background, and they just out Usher hugged up behind her. Now that's different. But this is for a performance. Like y'all do realize that. Because what y'all are saying is, why did she allow that? What the hell was she supposed to do on stage on the Super Bowl? Like, even if that was my lady and my lady was a performer, and she I, the most I would tell her was have a conversation with him, and I'ma have a conversation with him. Like, yo, you ain't had to do that. But I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be mad at her as if I don't understand. Why you didn't violate in front of millions of people? That's not realistic. But a lot of y'all on Instagram have small ass brains, and y'all like to just, you know, you you like to have something to talk about because your your life may not be that fun. But yeah, this is not a thing where like there's really a thing there, and Swiss Beat should not feel no type of way because it's entertainment. Now Usher, on the other hand, I I think Swiss Beat should not feel no type of way towards Alicia. If he's to feel anything, it should be towards Usher. It should not be towards Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, to, in my opinion, she didn't do nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Because they're performers. Now, take away the performance. Take away the live, your artist. Take away all that shit. If my lady was in the club and, and I just walked in, I see her through the crowd, or even if her friends posted a story and a nigga is hugged up behind her like that, hell no. Hell no. But this is not that. So y'all are trying to like kind of compare orange to apples. Your life is not a Usher and Alicia Keys type of or Swiss Beats type of life. And Swiss Beats, for y'all that don't know who Swiss Beats is, he's in the entertainment field too. So he understands how this shit works. Now I mean, like I heard Lil Boosie say something like, "Oh, I would have took him. Oh, uh, I would have took my lady. Or, well, I would have left her right there and then beat on her some shit." Like you know, he made a joke. But it's like, you got to take that on face value. Like, first of all, it's Boosie. Like, Boosie says anything. And usually it's crazy stuff. Like, but that's him. That don't automatically have to be how you see the shit. Now, I mean, they're performers. It's different. It's, I, I, I'll say this, and then I'll really get off. Most performers, like, for instance, if my lady was a dancer, right? I can't be mad if she had to dance with another man. I would be stopping her career as an entertainer. You're dancing, and you're um, and Usher's a dancer. 
Now, I mean, you're dancing and singing with the other performer to make the performance entertaining. But because of social media giving us a voice, now we're talking about these things. Do y'all understand that for a long time, like all of this shit has been happening. Like if you look at anybody's performance in the background, there's women dancing with guys. And a lot of times those are two married people. But that's part, that's their job. That's not our job, so it's not meant for us to understand. So everybody trying to have their two cents on what Swiss beat should feel and what they would do, you can't fucking talk. Like, you're not in that position. Now, Usher, on the other hand, I don't, you know, I, I still feel like he needs to have more respect for other entertainers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, like, you know she's a married woman. Like, play it smooth. And if y'all watch the video back, she kept on trying to like kind of back up or play like the but it was very it was very subtle but when the grab happened it was like nigga there's no way out of this Out outside of like literally pulling his arms off of me and making this whole performance making this the thing to talk about instead of it being as great as it's going so yeah y'all yeah y'all need to consider all those things i just wanted to share that real quick while i drive y'all know i love my driving and talking in videos or whatever and i think y'all like them too but if you want more honest videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and all that good stuff. It's your boy.